my dear friends welcome to my youtube channel that is learning and programming with chetan friends i hope that you all are enjoying in learning and programming with me so today in this particular video we will be discussing about three different ways of how we can find duplicates from our list it can be of any type whether it is an list of a string type or your integer type or it can be an object so if you want to find a duplicate object then that also you can do and one special thing about this video is that we will be discussing about how we can find duplicates by using java 8 important features that is stream apis so without wasting much of our time let us start our video and let us see that how we can find duplicates by using three different ways okay so let's start with our first way so here you can see that we have created one class and inside our class we are having a main method and here i have created an list of string so this is my list of string and it consists of various elements or items that is programming with chetan then we have happy and learning and again we have programming and chetan so we want to find a duplicates from this list so what is duplicates in this list so here duplicate is programming and chetan because here you can see that it is repeating twice so let us see that how we can find the duplicates so let us start our first method by using the concept of set collection framework okay so what is set collection framework so if we don't want duplicates then we can use set and if we will try to insert a duplicate element inside our set collection framework then my dear friends as you all know that it will return a boolean value that is false right so we will use the concept of set and we will see that how we can find the duplicate elements so here i am taking my list okay so this is my duplicate element list now from this list let us first take the stream okay so this is my stream method now what we can do we have to filter this list right so we can use filter method great now inside this filter method we can either use lambda expressions or we can use method reference right and we have to write the logic that how we can sort the elements okay so inside my list i have an items right so i want to iterate each item so i am using lambda expression here but before that let us do one thing let us create an object of set okay so here this is our set and it is of string type because i want to add string elements inside it and what name i can give i can give its name as unique items because i will be storing unique items inside my set okay great so this is my list fine now let us try to insert an element inside our list so i am iterating my list elements okay and then i am filtering it so i have taken a set and using the add method of our set i am trying to add the element inside my unique item set okay but in this case it will return true right and this method will return false when it will return false if you will try to insert a duplicate element great so that's why i have added not here okay so let us do one thing let us collect our each items in set list great so it's as simple as that as you can see on your screen so here i have used an stream and i am taking the elements or the filtered list and storing it in the variable with name as duplicate items i hope that till this point it is clear now let us do one thing let us print the elements okay and then we will run our program and we will see the output so how we can do that so this is my set again this is a list so i am taking a stream you can see that i am not writing or using the conventional way by using the for loop or for each loop or some other iterators to iterate to the complete list and have to print that no in place of that i am simply using a stream and i want to print each element of my list so i am simply using the for each method okay great so i will get an item inside my for each pool now i have to print this okay so there can be two ways by using lambda expression and here i am using method reference great i am using a system dot out and then the print ln method which is present inside my 
out stream class great so here our program is completed so let me try to execute it and then we'll see the output so here we have simply used stream and then i filtered it i am trying to add that element inside my list okay unique item list and then i'm collecting that to the set great so here you can see that we are getting an output as programming and JSON because these are the two duplicate elements which was there inside our list correct if you want to print or want to get the unique items then that also you can do so now in place of printing the duplicate elements i am printing the unique items and let me execute the program again so here you can see that we are getting unique items which is present inside my list so this is our first method right now let us try to find it with our second method so here i will simply use the collection frequency method collection class is there right it is the utility class to operate on the collection framework so i will use the frequency method okay and we will try to find the frequency of each element so what we will actually do in this method let me copy this because i don't want to waste much time in that part okay so this is my list great let me take the stream and i have to filter it right so here i am filtering it great now how i can filter that so i have told you that we have our collections class great so this is my collections class and i have a frequency method so what this frequency method will do by using this method we can find the frequency of each item inside our list okay so this is the list of items which we have which consists of duplicate elements right and here i have to pass the particular item here you can see that we have an item and we are taking each item and i have passed that item here so what it will actually do it will try to find the frequency of each item right and i want that if the frequency of item is greater than one then please filter that great now it has already filtered till this step now what we can do we can collect it how we can collect it by using collectors dot to set method so this is the another way of filtering it and i hope that it is clear to you it is very simple we have simply used and collections frequency method right let me try to run it and then we'll see the output so here on your screen you can see that how simply we are able to find the duplicate elements from our list so my dear friends these are the two ways of finding the duplicate elements now let us see our third method so now in this third approach we will try to find the duplicates by using grouping concept okay so what i will do this is my list fine now i will create a map and in my map key will be the item and its value will be the number of times this item is present inside my list great so let us do one thing let us first find the map of key and values where key is our item and value is what value is its frequency so let me create an map instance okay so this is my map and it will consist string type as a key and its value will be of long type which is a frequency great so let us first take the list okay now let me stream it after getting the stream let me do one thing i need to find the map so i will use collectors group by method great collectors dot grouping by now this grouping by it will accept two input parameters okay so what are the two input parameters it will accept first one is the function okay so i can use function dot identity method what i want that whatever element which is coming I want to get that particular element okay so I can use this function identity method okay great so it will return me the key now how I will get the value so what is the value here value is the frequency so what I can do from my collectors class I can use counting method 
great okay so we're getting some error here what's the error actually i have used and concurrent one so i should not use it so i have used and grouping by okay still we're getting some error so what is this okay so here i have not imported the class that's why it is giving us this error so my dear friends here you can see that we are getting this map till this point it is fine let me try to print the elements of our map and we'll see the output okay first we'll see the output and then we will further try to find the duplicates from this map okay so this is my map let me take the entry set okay now let me stream it now each element let us try to print the entry so let me run it so here you can see that we are having each entries right and item is the key and its frequency is its value so programming is repeated twice chetan is repeated twice right so i got this map now from this map i can simply find the set how i can do that so how i can do that so this is my entry set okay because i want the stream right so this is my stream now i have entry now what i want let me filter it so i want to filter those elements from my map whose value or whose frequency is greater than 1 it is as simple as that so this is my entry okay so let me take the value and filtering it if its value is greater than 1 great it's very simple right but it is still an entry right now what i want i want that please give me those keys whose value is greater than 1 great so i can use the map method right now inside my map method i am having this entry this is the filtered entry of duplicate items great now i am further reducing it okay and i want only keys right now i have used the map method now what i can do let me try to collect it okay where i should collect it i can collect it in set okay so i can use collectors this is my collectors dot to set method i can use great cool let me try to get this filtered list in one duplicate item set and let me try to print it and let us see the output for it. okay we are getting some error okay let me remove it first great i have formatted the code okay now let me run this program so my dear friends here on your screen you can see that we are getting our out good because programming is used twice and chetan is used twice so my dear friends i hope that this concept is clear to you we have used three different ways to find the duplicates right first one with by using the set collection second one by using the frequency method of collections class third one with the grouping concept so i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and still if you are having any doubts then at any point of time you can ask me your suggestions are valuable for me okay so stay tuned with me and if you have not subscribed the channel till now then you can quickly subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any updates of my upcoming tutorials so my dear friends stay safe and stay happy and soon we will meet in our next video